Hi again, this is Cherry once more. As promised, <clears throat> this is uh, a replay that I uh, played earlier um, of the Cossack, uh, the Tier 8 a British Tribal Class Destroyer. I have already run through my first game footage. This is a secondary one which came soon after and it was a, a different play style. So basically the map we're looking at here is Northern Lights. Uh, the matchmaking is not terrible i mean it's really not republic her first turpins turpins bismarck uh, there's only one radar ship which is the moskva so basically the point of uh, the first point to work out here is before you commit anything with a destroyer is where's the bloody moskva uh, if you know the moskva's on the other side of the map then you can pretty much play with impunity um cossack bloody good ship um eight guns uh, 4.7s, um, so it's four turrets of two, gets a quad torpedo launcher which fires individually, so you've got four torpedoes with about a 90 second reload. Um, it is not the fastest ship, however it does have a few tools that other British DDs do not have. So they all have the crappy three kilometer hydro, uh, they all have the s low duration, lots of, lots of smokes, so it's short, short path, short duration. It's basically for escape purposes or just to cover your ass as you get yourself into trouble. Um, the difference between the Cossack and the rest of the British destroyer line is that the Cossack does get speed boost um, as well as the eight guns. So it's different. Uh, the drawback with the Cossack, if there is one, is basically it ha the, its main guns are not dual purpose. Uh, it has minimal, like, I think it's 27.62mm machine guns or something. It's got an AA rating of about 4. So basically, it ain't going to shoot no planes down. Um, so basically, you'll have, what we're going to do here is we're going to cap the um, decap here. Uh, we're going to park ourselves in this little gap uh, just behind this little island and wait and see what happens. Um, so the only reason I'm going here to start with is because I'm just not sure where that Moskva is. As soon as we know where the Moskva is, we can a little bit, a little bit more brave. Um, little note to gen, uh, little note to selves on this map. This island, <coughs> at this distance, the Cossacks' guns can get over. <coughs> so it does work so we've got republic and a bismarck there republic is well in range moskva is in within radar range republic is very shotable so we're going to get some shots out on the republic and get the first fire of hopefully many so the Republic has gone stationary, we're behind the island, we're now at the point where we can shoot without being spotted. So remember, we've wasted no smoke so far. So we're just going to sit here and farm some damage on the Republic. Need to just go back a little bit further because the front turrets are not getting over the island. You want all eight shells in the air basically, not just six. So get some fires set on the Republic. So we're looking at 21,000 into the Republic already. Um, that this, uh, remember, I'm running IFHE on my British destroyers, so it does do. So it, the alpha damage is actually pretty good for a for a small caliber destroyer guns. The alpha damage is actually pretty good. So we've done a bit on the on the Republic. We've got another fire on it. Let's make a start on the Henri. As soon as he comes spotted again. So a destroyer has, part, has smoked in front of me. Just gonna hold my fire and work out what's happening because I can't see anything. Wait the hydro up. And wait. And wait. And wait. <laughs> Lots of sitting and waiting. 
Now the way to defeat the way to defeat the way to defeat a destroyer sitting here is to send someone around the outside down the 910 line, which in this game it appears no one has done yet. Just keep an eye on those torpedoes, there's a set of torps. Right, there's the Henri. Reverse him. Let's get some shells out of the Henri. With that super thin armour they've got, this IFHE does do some decent damage. Right, let's get back in behind the island because we're now spotted. Yep, yeah, unspotted again. Break the spot. Republic. Unfortunately, that Moskva um, is parked in a good spot to be a radar ship. Um, if he wasn't looking at where I am. Let's just waste these torps because there's absolutely no use for them. And get some more gunfire on the Republic. Still not used any of the smokes. Back on the armory. Just spread the spread the fire around a little bit. Oh, that one didn't get over the island. Let's get some more love on the Republic. And I spotted again, so we need to just get back behind the island. Break the spot. There's the gearing coming in. Right, this is where this rate of fire and the number of guns is just brilliant. Right, if you watch the IFHE as they hit, it does some good damage. It really does do some good damage. Just spreading the love around a bit. Our Republic's getting quite brave. Back in behind the island again. And we're back on the Republic again. So 75,000 damage, uh, six fires, one cap. And a probably severely pissed off Republic. Right, we run out of Republic to shoot at. So let's find something else. Turning circle, Cossack, not great. Really not great. It's not. <laughs> It just does not. But, you know, it reverses. The acceleration is pretty quick on it. So, it's not a major problem if you crash it in the line and just reverse off and rock and roll. Right, I'm feeling a lot more brave now because the Moscow is dead. Uh, the Henri IV is a way a ways. We've got two caps. It's 560 against 361. We are up by one ship. Uh, we are 11 minutes into the game and someone BSH, whoever that was the Kabarovsk is now going to spend the entire rest of the game bitching about the team can't quite work out why but he's bitching about the team I mean I can kind of see his point with the, with those battleships I mean look, the battleships and cruisers are all hiding behind the island so Henri, let's rock and roll get some shots in on the Henri Let's get some shots in on the turpits. We popped our smoke. We've got about 40 seconds of smoke to play with. Henri's on fire. 
Lost sight of the Tirpitz. Let's get back on the Homery again. He seems to have gone AFK. So let's get some shells in on him. Oh, he's dead. Right, rock and roll on the Tirpitz. Right, the Tirpitz has 23,000 hit points. He's 8.5 kilometers away. Right, the smoke's about to run out, so we're going to make use of the speed of the acceleration of this thing and get out of dodge. And then start firing from open mortar because the turpids ain't going to hit this thing at that range. Not with, a, not with enough damage. Like I said, the IFHE is just brutal. So we're at 103,046 damage. We've got our first kill of the game. Still spotted. Uh, I've now got the rest of the team following me. So they obviously, you know, didn't want to uh, move on until Turpitz was dead. Even though you're talking about a okay, first. And a Mosfer. And a Hindenburg. You know, we're not talking about... Right, here's the Z23 coming in. Mr. Brave Pants. Now, look at this turret rotation. It is so dog slow. It's unbelievable. It takes that long to get those turrets round. So, I have a... Oh, Zed's um, AFK. So, let's just get some shots on him. What the hell? Might as well get some free, free hit points, free XP. Get a fire on him. Right, the fire's now lit him up. So, he's um, going to be lit now because he's on fire. I make the most of it. Might as well take some free XP. Why, why, why on earth you'd be AFK in a, Z, in a Z23 in this matchmaking? I don't know, unless he, unless he's game packed up. Um, right now, once we get to the more to the broadside of it, then you'll start seeing the power of this IFHE. It is absolutely brutal. Oh, crash into another island. Do that a lot lately. So 117,000 damage, one kill, 258 gun hits. We are 690 to 351. We have one cap, uh, one being contested, and one that's about to be taken by our Mosulfa. Enemy have four ships. We have six ships. Um, the um, Kabarovsk is still... Bitching, useless teammates again, blah blah. He's not actually seen the score. You know, we're winning, we're up on ships, we're up on points, but no, he's gonna bitch. And obviously, I can't for the life of me, as you can see in chat, I can't resist people like that. Do I detect a dead cabba moaning? Yeah, a dead pink cabby. Yeah, I've got to stop with that one. Anyway, I just can't help myself. And then the conversation goes on to did nothing but moan. So I wasn't the only one who thought. But yeah, anyway, enough of uh, yeah. So we're basically seven ninety nine, seven eighty nine to two sixty five. We have one cap. We are contesting one. Cap. We're, we're we're contesting the cap we already own, and we are we have a Mosfer contesting uh, another cap. I may have actually got quite abusive in chat with this guy. I'm not even sure, I'm not quite sure how far it went. Not quite sure how far it went. I mean, 180k in a cover is reasonable. <laughs> I couldn't resist him. He's pink. 180k damage brought to a friend. Anyway, so the game's pretty much over. Um, 117k. I think it rolls out about 120. And the... Uh, this is the Cossack. So, just to place it, the little island thing does kind of work. Um, doesn't work in every game. It's not one of those go to and be there every game. 
Um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy this one. It's just a slightly different play on uh, this particular ship. Uh, if you like my video, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, put the thumbs down. If you want any, if you've got any observations or comments or anything I can improve, stuff like that, then use the comments. Um, if you, as I've said before to people, if you are a member of the clan, you should be a subscriber anyway. Um, if you're not a member of the clan and want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. I will be eminently grateful. Um, you know. Unfortunately, it's been a bit hit and miss lately with uh, content output because a new job and stuff have uh, been very busy. And, a new, and obviously a new kitchen being done as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, there are going to be a few more uh, rolling back to back over the next few days. I've got a lot of replays to do catch up with. So once more, thanks for watching. And this is Cherry signing off. Be nice to each other. Enjoy and have fun.